Hello everybody, I'm Ajit K. Mishra, your course instructor for Essential Life Skills. I'm back with a new module and this is a very, very important module. This module is on thinking skills. You all know that thinking skills are very, very crucial because they help us do a lot of things, starting from making decisions, solving problems, to forming new ideas and developing new plans to address new challenges. That's the reason why thinking skills are always treated as a very critical life skill. So let's start with what thinking skills are all about. Thinking skills are the mental activities we use to process information, make connections, make decisions and create new ideas. Thinking skills always help us process information. We keep receiving a variety of information from our everyday interactions and exchanges. Thinking skills help us process those information to ensure that most of the information that we gather through these interactions turn out to be important and essential to us. So processing information is a very, very important activity that is done by thinking skills. Similarly, making connections. When we receive a variety of information from all around, it's very, very important that we try to see some kind of connection among those information. So using our thinking skills, we make sense of our experiences. Similarly, Thinking skills also help us ask questions, make plans, and organize information. Otherwise, most of the information that we come across will go scattered, will remain in a very fragmentary uh, state, will not be able to organize the information, will not be able to see the connections among this information. So that's the power of thinking skills. We all have thinking skills. But interestingly, not all of us use them effectively. And that's exactly where we all see a challenge for ourselves. Having thinking skills is not a big deal, but being able to put our thinking skills to use is of course a big deal. And we must also be ready for that particular activity, that particular challenge. The next important thing that I would like to draw your attention towards is a list of building blocks of thinking that comes to us from a, a very important research done by Robert Marzano and his colleagues. Let's take a look at each of these building blocks of thinking so that we understand how important thinking is and how important it is for all of us to learn good thinking skills and put those thinking skills to proper use. Let's start with the first building block, focusing skills. It's all about attending to selected pieces of information. Focusing, concentrating are very, very important because Without focusing, it will be very difficult for us to harness or gather the adequate information, the information that we are looking for or we are searching. If that doesn't happen, if our focus is divided, if our attention is divided, it's going to be very, very difficult for us to focus and gather or extract the exact information that we are looking forward to. So focusing skills are very important because they help us attend to selected pieces of information. There are two things that focus uh, or focusing skills help us with. The first is defining problems. When that happens, we begin to clarify needs, discrepancies, or even puzzling situations. Similarly, while setting goals 
focusing skills are very very important because our goals are always focused ones without focusing we cannot set goals so while setting goals or while establishing directions and purpose we always need the help of focusing skills so focusing skills is the first very important building block of thinking the second important building block of thinking is information gathering skills these skills bring to our consciousness the relevant data needed for cognitive processing that means we go out and begin to gather information that are relevant that are useful that are important and how do we do that we generally do so through observing when we observe we begin to obtain information through one or more senses for example if i observe something it may happen that i am using my sense of sight i am also using my sense of hearing and at the same time i can also use the other senses as well so observing is very very important because it helps us obtain information through various senses secondly formulating questions so when we begin to gather information we also begin to formulate certain questions that means we we seek information through our inquiry skills that means if i am inquisitive if i am curious i'll certainly go out and try to gather some information that are relevant and i can do so only when i can formulate questions so information gathering skills are dependent on these two very important methods observing and you know gathering information through seeking questions the third important building block is remembering skills which is very very important because no matter what amount of information we gather if we forget all of them it's going to be useless for us remembering or recalling skills are very very important because it's almost like storing and retrieving information so how do i do that there are two methods through which i can improve i can do remembering skills adequately or properly the first is encoding while storing information in long term memory it is very very important that we encode the information that that happens quite naturally so once we encode information that means we classify we create certain tags for the information it becomes easier for us to recall the information whenever there is a need and then being able to recall the information so recalling is all about retrieving information from the long term memory to which we have promptly pushed most of the information that we have gathered so remembering skills are very very important similarly organizing skills are also very important because that's a very important building block of thinking by organizing we mean arranging information so it can be used more effectively so there are four methods when it comes to organizing skills for thinking method 1 is comparing so comparing is all about noting similarities and differences between or among entities when we can see the differences and the similarities we can arrange those pieces of information accordingly classifying is a very important method when it comes to organizing so classifying is a very important method which helps us grouping and labeling entities on the basis of their attributes for example numbers days months if i can classify all these things 
it will be very, very easy for us to understand. It will be easy for us to remember and recall. So all the previous building blocks are in a way dependent on this particular and this important building block that is organizing skills. The next one is ordering. In which order am I going to store my information, gather the information, process the information? That's very, very important. So ordering is all about sequencing entities according to a given criterion. The next building block of thinking is analyzing skills, which is a very, very important skill. It is all about clarifying existing information by examining parts and their relationships. What kind of relationships these parts have among them is very, very important when I begin to analyze something. So the first thing is to identify the attributes and components. The first important method. So while doing that, we generally determine the characteristics or parts of something. We generally determine the characteristics of something. How do I know these things? In what ways can I identify these particular things? What are the characteristics of this particular thing? And then once I'm through with that, I can identify relationships and patterns, recognizing ways elements are related. So that's very, very important. I must be in a position to identify relationships and patterns. So what are the relationships between all these things and what are the patterns? Is there any similar uh, corresponding pattern? If I can identify all these things, that means I'm analyzing. So whenever we do uh, an analysis of something, we generally look forward to the attributes and components, relationships and patterns. Thirdly, we also identify the main ideas. That's an important method. Identifying the central element is very, very important. For example, uh, you may read a story and if I ask you, what is the central idea of that story, the core idea of that story? If you are in a position to tell me that, that means you have been able to identify the main ideas, the core elements of the ideas. So identifying the central elements is very important. Identifying errors is again a very important method. I must be in a position to recognize the logical fallacies and other mistakes and where I can correct them and how I can correct them. So it's very important that I'm in a position to identify these errors. So analyzing skills require all these approaches, all these methods. The next important building block of thinking is generating skills. It's all about producing new information, meaning or ideas. There are a few methods associated with this particular skill. The first one is inferring. It is all about going beyond available information to identify what may reasonably be true. So that means we are going beyond the information line or available information. The second is predicting. On the basis of the information that we interact with, that we come across, if we can anticipate the next events or the outcome of a situation, that means we are predicting. We are generating ideas on the basis of some information that we have. So on the basis of this, if I can say it's going to rain, it's going to um, have a thunderstorm, it's, it's going to um, um, be a cloud burst, then we are predicting on the basis of some information that we have at hand. Similarly, elaborating. Elaborating is all about explaining by adding detailed examples or other relevant information. So without uh, uh, adding detailed examples or relevant information, it's going to be very difficult for us to elaborate. 
So all these methods together make up generating skills. The next important building block is integrating skills. Now we come to a position where we can integrate a variety of information. We can connect and combine information. And there are two very important methods with which we can do so. The first is summarizing. That means we have seen the whole and we have been able to see the connections. We have been able to identify the patterns, the, the characteristics and a variety of other things about the information at hand. Now we are in a position to summarize by combining information efficiently into a cohesive statement. That means in one statement, if I can talk about the whole, that means I'm summarizing it. Similarly, the other method is the restructuring method. That means changing existing knowledge structures to incorporate new information. So if I can do that, I can always say, and yes, I've been able to integrate all these things. So the next very important building block of thinking is evaluating skills. We have to be in a position to evaluate the information that we gather. It's not about you know, gathering information. It's not about storing information. It's not about elaborating. It's not about you know, presenting information. It's about evaluating the information that we gather so that we find something new. So evaluating skills actually enable us to assess the reasonableness and quality of ideas. And how do we do that? There are two methods again with which we can practice evaluating skills. The first one is establishing criteria. So how do we establish the criteria? By setting standards for making judgments. So any evaluation in order to be good, in order to be proper, requires the setting of standards for making judgments. The second method is verifying. We need to confirm the accuracy of the claims made in certain documents, in, in certain statements. So verifying is very, very important because it's a very important method when it comes to evaluating. So these are the eight most important building blocks of thinking. By now, you must have been aware that thinking is very, very important. We all have been doing this because we know thinking is going to help us carry out or perform a variety of life's activities or challenges in a proper manner. And that's the reason why we all require a good amount of thinking skills. And that's the reason why it is such an important life skill. You have taken note of the eight important building blocks of thinking. And I'm sure you have uh, gathered some valuable information from each of these building blocks. You are going to explore these things yet further and improve your thinking strategies or thinking skills. When I meet you again in a new session, I'll be talking about some more important things about thinking. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.